Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how you can change the settings in your Maths Assistant when using your Class Notebook. Alright, let's get stuck into it. So, if you haven't seen this notebook before, don't forget that at the bottom of this video, in the description, you can get a link to access this specific OneNote that Andrew and myself basically have created and every video we've done is linked in here somehow. So I'm gonna show you today where you can find this information about how to manage that math tool in your class notebook. So it's in the how to, and it's part of the ribbon features. So when we say ribbons, these guys at the top, these are your ribbons. At the moment I'm in like the view ribbon, but I can go to the drawer or the insert ribbon. So essentially, you wanna look for ribbon features. Let's go to maths, and we're gonna look specifically at the maths tool. Well, I like to actually call it the maths assistant. Maybe I'll change that later. So this is the one that we're going to have a look at today. So managing student access with this maths tool. And you'll see there are some nice clear guidelines here of how to do it. So you can always refer back to this or share this. Um, also at the same time. And what we can do inside this space, as you can see down the bottom here, and I'm gonna step you through it in a minute, is we can set times that students aren't able to access that maths tool assistant. And you know, that could be for various reasons. It could be, you know, you might actually be doing a test in your OneNote for all we know. So you don't want them access to be, you don't want them to have that access to so just solve things straight away. Maybe you might want them to try it a little bit more independently first because you might have that particular student that, you know, just keeps relying on the maths assistant to solve everything for them. So there are, you know, there are plenty of reasons that I'm sure you can come up with more as to why we might want to turn this off. So it does need to be a class notebook. And what I mean by that is this notebook that you're actually looking at right now isn't a class notebook. It's just a one note. And over here where I have the mass tool, there's no drop down um, option. If that happens to you, it's because you're not working in a class notebook. So it doesn't need to be a generated class notebook with a teacher and a student. So your standard ones that have your content library, you know, teacher only sections. So I'm gonna to switch to one. Uh, this one, the one directly underneath it. So here you can see on the side, this is more what a class notebook looks like. And something has changed. So up here, I'm in the insert tab and over here towards maths is our little drop down option. So when I click on that, I can go to turn on or off math. And we're gonna wait for that to load and I'm in the way. So I'm gonna move me over here. And once this loads up, we can see here that we have this option to turn things on or off. So we have to select here what it is that we want off. So with solving and the solving steps or graphing in key graph features. So if you want them to have a graph but you don't want them to see key graph features, you'll just click the one, but you can't have kind of one without the other there. And obviously it's the same with solving. So you can have them, they can be able to solve, which means it will give them the answer, but it won't show them the steps to the answer. And then, but if we try and click it the other way, it doesn't work. So then you've got this time limit here. And the reason, you know, in my opinion, why I see there's a time limit there, I mean, I don't work for Microsoft, so I don't know, but it's because it is, it's an assistant tool. It's there to help students. So we don't want to turn it off and then they get home, you know, they start with question one and they just go, no, can't do it, uh, you know, stuff this and then they close it down and then that's it. There's no, no more mass practice from then on. It's so that they can, you know, use this tool to assist them. It's an assistant tool and that's a very important part of teaching students as to why we use this mass assistant tool. But you can set that, you can set a number of minutes that you need it set for. So obviously if you want it turned off for the entire day, if your school runs a six, seven hour day, you will need to put the equivalent amount of time in and then click 
apply and those features will be turned off for that class notebook. So that one's really important to remember as well, guys, if you are using this and for instance, if you're a secondary teacher and you have multiple math classes, you will need to do it for each of those class notebooks for each class. All right, guys, I hope you found that helpful. If you're using the math tool, I hope you're enjoying it as well. And we will see you again soon. Cheers. Don't forget to follow us. Give us a thumbs up if you like what we're doing and make sure that you write any comments in the comment section in regards to questions you might have or if you have any ideas that you want us to present on. Thanks guys.